Another school day begins for these Menominee children in northeastern Wisconsin. Unfortunately, their learning experience is hampered because the Menominee are one of the poorest Indian tribes in the country. The tribal school building is more than 100 years old. Budget cuts have reduced student services and forced staff members to wear many hats. You start out with having a, an overburdened administration for one thing, you know, we have our special ed director who is also the food service director, and she's also the assistant principal. The Menominee struggle to meet even basic learning standards. 48% of the children live in poverty, and 60% live in single parent homes. Exactly what does the future hold for children like these? I want to go to college and get an education. I don't know what for yet. Jalen dreams of attending the College of Menominee Nation, which is accredited and serves about 700 eager students each semester. But the average cost to attend the tribal college today is $17,765 per year. I'm very, very concerned about the future of our Menominee people because the resources are dwindling as far as financial aid is concerned and the resources to go on to school, especially when you have a family and you have a lot of other commitments in your life. We work diligently to find funding for them, to provide scholarships for them, to help them so they don't leave college with a huge debt. Ultimately, Menominee students know they must complete their education to compete in the real world. When they graduate, Nusky sends each one a personal letter, reminding them of their accomplishment. When they get a letter from me, I can tell them, you bring honor to yourself, to your family, and to the tribe, because you've done something for yourself, your family, and your tribe. You've gotten your education, and now you can get a better job, you can have a better future for them.